from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. The jobs report for January is better than expected. The country added 467,000 jobs last month. That's far better than the 150,000 new jobs predicted by Wall Street. Hiring was also much stronger at the end of 2021 than originally reported. The unemployment rate did rise 0.1 percent. The Biden administration was bracing for much worse. Florida gas prices just surged above the national average and the Bay Area has some of the worst prices statewide. Hillsborough County is currently averaging 350 for a gallon of regular. That's close to four cents more than the state average. The national average is 342 per gallon. Every single county in the Bay Area is above the state average for gas. The Collier County Sheriff's Office says the state could not prove cruelty to an animal beyond a reasonable doubt to charge River Rosenquist. He was working at the Naples Zoo in December and was not authorized to be near the cage. He got too close to a tiger and the tiger became aggressive and grabbed him. Echo was shot to death when a deputy tried to release Rosenquist's arm from its mouth. His left arm was surgically reattached. And Monster Jam is back at the Raymond James Stadium this weekend. The action-packed loud show is there on Saturday and Sunday. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? Skies are clear across the area all of Friday, but Friday night into Saturday, totally different. Clouds come in with some showers, no storms, just showers overnight. And Saturday looks to be just mostly cloudy, very chilly. Temperatures in the 60s, not a lot of rain on Saturday, but still almost a raw day with temperatures again, never getting above mid, mid to upper 60s. Sunday, I actually think We'll be back around 70 and we'll get some breaks in that cloud cover, but I think there might be a little bit better chance of a few afternoon showers on Sunday. So really kind of a give and take weekend. But regardless, those 80s that we've seen for the last three days, they're gone and they're going to stay gone for at least the next 10 days, maybe even longer than that. And there's a look at that 10 day model forecast. There's your average high and there are the temperatures staying well below average right on through the period. Florida's most accurate seven day. A lot of clouds on Saturday, a few showers, partly to mostly cloudy on Sunday. A little warmer up near 70 with a few more showers and then low pressure just off to our east pulls away. Finally, more sunshine by the middle of the week, but those temps stay in the 60s.